This video is for educational and awareness purposes only. It does not promote, encourage, or condone any form of illegal hacking, exploitation, or misuse of technology. The topic of zero-day vulnerabilities is discussed to shed light on real-world cyber threats, the importance of ethical cybersecurity, and the dangers posed by unpatched systems. There are hacks you hear about, and then there are the ones you never will. The most powerful cyber attacks don't announce themselves. They leave no trace, no noise, just impact. These are zero-day exploits. Digital weapons so advanced, even the developers of the software don't know they exist. No antivirus, no firewall, no update to save you. And by the time they're discovered, it's already over. This is the story of invisible warfare, billion-dollar vulnerabilities, and the tools that could bring down nations without firing a single bullet. Scene 1. What exactly is a zero-day? A zero-day is a vulnerability in software, firmware, or hardware that's unknown to the developers or the public. That's why it's called zero-day, because there have been zero days to prepare for or patch the flaw. Imagine a hidden crack in a fortress wall that no one knows exists, except the attacker. This means no security software can stop it because no defense has ever been built. And when a hacker discovers a zero day, they hold something more dangerous than a key. They hold invisible access. Zero days can be used to install malware silently, bypass authentication completely, escalate privileges to full system control, move laterally across networks, spy, steal, or destroy without detection. Scene 2 Who Finds and Uses Zero Days Not all hackers are after fame or Bitcoin. Some are quietly finding zero days and selling them for millions. Others are hired by governments and intelligence agencies to find or buy these exploits. For offense, not defense. Here's the list of real players. NSA from United States of America, their elite group, Equation Group, developed some of the most advanced zero-day tools ever seen. Unit 8200 from Israel, cyber intelligence agency behind tools like Stuxnet, state-sponsored hacking teams from China, Russia, and North Korea, private brokers like Zerodium, who openly pay $2 million plus for mobile zero days, dark web markets where exploits are auctioned to the highest bidder. To them, zero days aren't bugs, they're weapons. Scene 3, real zero-day attacks that change the world. Stuxnet, 2010 a cyber weapon built by the U.S. and Israel. It used multiple zero-day exploits to silently infect and sabotage Iran's nuclear program. Instead of stealing data, it physically destroyed centrifuges by making them spin until they broke. This was the first digital weapon to cause physical damage. Eternal Blue and Wanna Cry, 2017. A Windows Zero Day developed by the NSA but leaked by a group called the Shadow Brokers. Hackers used it to launch Wanna Cry, ransomware that shut down hospitals, airports and railways worldwide. Estimated damage? Over 10 billion US dollars in losses. Pegasus spyware developed by NSO Group. Pegasus uses zero-day chains to infect iPhones and Android phones. Just one missed call or a silent message, and your device becomes a live surveillance tool. Camera, mic, files, messages, all compromised. Victims, journalists, activists, even presidents. Scene 4. The Invisible Cyber War. Cyber warfare isn't future fiction, it's already happening. Nations don't just defend, they prepare offensive cyber arsenals. Zero days are like digital missiles deployed once, burn their cover, and vanish. You won't see them in the news unless the fallout is massive. Critical targets include power grids, airports, financial systems, satellites, water plants, and stock exchanges. Zero days are the silent nukes of the digital world. Scene 5, the underground market of zero days. In the underground, zero days are auctioned like gold. Price tags, Chrome or Firefox full remote code execution, $150,000. Android remote exploit chain, $250,000. iOS full chain zero day, $1.5 million to $2 million. Windows LPE, local privilege escalation, $80,000 to $150,000. Buyers range from governments to corporations to criminal gangs. And once sold, that exploit might be used quietly for years. Scene 6, Ethics, Risks, and the Global Debate. Here's the dilemma. Should a government keep a zero day to use in covert ops, or should they disclose it to patch the flaw and protect users? Keeping it means holding a powerful weapon, but leaves the entire world vulnerable. Disclosing it kills the weapon, but saves lives. It's a moral gray zone that grows darker every day. Scene 7, What Happens Next? As AI advances, 
So does automated exploit discovery. We're heading toward a future where zero days are found not by humans, but by machines. Scanning code at superhuman speed. Zero day wars may soon be fought by bots. And the systems we trust, phones, cars, hospitals, may be running vulnerable code without anyone knowing. Right now, there are thousands of undiscovered zero days sitting silently in the world's software. And tomorrow, one of them might go off. Zero days don't scream. They whisper. They don't knock on your firewall. They step around it. In a world built on code, the deadliest threats are the ones hiding inside it. And by the time you realize you were vulnerable, the damage is already done. Like, share, subscribe, and remember, what you can't see can still destroy you.